When the editing process begins on a film, it is then when it is decided what stays and what goes on the cutting room floor. And while there was a time when deleted movie scenes and cut footage was mishandled, lost, and in some cases destroyed, now it is often a major aspect of a film's release after its theatrical run. Many older films have been re-released with previously unseen footage, giving fans a chance to see more of their favorite movies. However, there are still many movies with well-known scenes and desired footage that continue to remain locked away that may never see the light of day. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? Back to the Future is often regarded as one of the greatest films of all time, and is one of my personal favorites. And like with many of our favorite movies, it's difficult to imagine any other actor playing the iconic characters. But in the case of Back to the Future, we don't have to. When casting the movie, the filmmakers originally wanted Michael J. Fox to play the lead character in the film. How can that? I didn't know you were there. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? It depends. Just how important is the heart? <laughs> but due to his commitment to the sitcom family ties, he was unavailable. So another up-and-coming actor by the name of Eric Stoltz was hired instead. Filming went along as scheduled, but according to the film's director, Robert Zemeckis, he began to feel increasingly concerned that Stoltz, who was primarily known for his dramatic roles, was not embodying the charisma or comedic timing essential for the character with much of the cast later admitting to sharing similar feelings. Hello! Sorry about your barn. Around a month into shooting, a change in schedule occurred, which would allow Michael J. Fox to shoot around the sitcom. So despite most of the movie already being filmed, the filmmakers made an incredibly tough decision. Eric Stoltz would be let go from the movie, and all of his footage would be reshot with Michael J. Fox. And with the exception of a few blink and you'll miss them shots of other actors' coverage, Eric Stoltz as Marty McFly was erased from existence from the film. For many years, photos were the only glimpse we had into an alternate Back to the Future reality, until in 2010 when the filmmakers finally released footage of Eric Stoltz in several scenes. But with the scenes amounting to less than 30 seconds and no audible dialogue, a glimpse is all it was. And supposedly, all but the 1985 scenes were shot with Eric Stoltz. Personally, I would be lying if I said I wasn't incredibly curious to see an alternate Back to the Future film reality. No! No! Uh, right. The Black Cauldron is perhaps better known for being one of Disney's most controversial and least successful animated features. Deemed too dark and inappropriate for children, the film did very poorly at the box office, despite being the most expensive animated feature ever made at the time. But as dark as the film was in its released form, it was originally much more gruesome and violent. No! No! Evidently, despite the filmmaker's original intention of making the film for an older audience than previous Disney animations, then newly appointed Jeffrey Katzenberg arranged a test screening composed primarily of children and families. Dad, you're a lovely one! Oh. Unsurprisingly, many families walked out in horror and disgust. <laughs> Panicked, Katzenberg ordered cuts to be made to the film in order to make it more family friendly. You will be transported to a fantasy event for the entire family. The film was delayed, and sources claim that nearly 12 minutes of fully finished animation was removed in total, most notably from the Cauldron Born sequence. Unfortunately, some of the cuts caused obvious jumps in the film's soundtrack, and robbed the filmmakers of their original vision for the feature. <gasps> Since then, the film has become a bit of a cult classic, but aside from a brief shot in the trailer, not a single trace could be found of the cut, fully finished animation, until in 2010, when these animation cells surfaced at an online auction. And while rumors say that Disney has an uncut negative print in their archives, and one of the producers claiming to have a black and white uncut version of the film, whether we'll ever see the filmmaker's original cut of The Black Cauldron is unknown.
When E.T. was released in 1982, it was a massive critical and box office success, and has gone down in history as a timeless classic. Since then, the film has been re-released a number of times, featuring special effects replacements and deleted or alternate scenes. Why would Elliot go to the forest? Why would he do such a thing? Whether implemented into the film itself or released as bonus content, they've all seemed to appear in one way or another, except for one. According to the shooting script, it takes place immediately after the scene where Mary reads Peter Pan to Gertie and E.T. heals Elliot's finger. The scene involves E.T. watching Elliot and Gertie's mother while she sleeps, with her naked back exposed, and leaving an M&M, later of course changed to Reese's Pieces, on her pillow. It wasn't until 2012 that we got visual proof that the scene was actually filmed, when a book was released which contained two black and white photos showing the scene with a caption stating it was cut from the film. Of all the deleted scenes that have been made public, I'm incredibly interested to know why this one in particular is missing. What must I do? With the Lord of the Rings films being what started my passion for filmmaking, they hold a special place in my heart. And many fans like me were thrilled to see the release of each film's extended version in the early 2000s. And though you might think that with nearly two hours of implemented deleted scenes, that there wouldn't be much left from the cutting room floor. But that's not the case. It's as it is, and we want it. Scattered among the many behind-the-scenes segments also included in the extended releases, pieces of still unreleased cut scenes can be found, with some of the most notable ones including Eowyn's fight sequence in the glistening caves, ah! Run! and Arwen during the Battle of Helm's Deep. Though if you look very closely, she can be spotted for a brief moment in the theatrical release. There's even a scene where Faramir sees the ring's potential effect on Frodo. <laughs> Aside from the footage we know about, in 2014, director Peter Jackson revealed that there is still completely unseen footage that is locked away in a Warner Brothers vault. But considering that even the initially priced $800 Middle Earth Collector's Edition neglected to feature any additional footage, I can't imagine a future release including these scenes any time in the near future. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? Whether you're a fan of the books or movies, the Harry Potter franchise needs no introduction. Time and time again, it's taken the world by storm. And with the release of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, it seems Pottermania has resurfaced once more. We love Harry Potter. Harry Potter! As with any book to movie translation, and especially with the Harry Potter series, many scenes that were filmed ultimately did not make it into the final cut. You didn't just lose a mother that night in Godric's Hollow, you know. I lost a sister. Unsurprisingly, the films have been re-released various times over the years, often including these deleted and extended scenes. However, there is still an unbelievable amount of footage that is yet to surface in any format, especially from movies four through eight. I don't think you're a waste of space. Thanks. Using on-set pics, behind-the-scenes footage, screening reports, interviews, TV spots, and trailers, a staggering list has been compiled of footage and scenes that have yet to see the light of day. And while some are merely rumors and unconfirmed sources, the vast majority are not. And it's astonishing that none of these have been included or incorporated into the film's many re-releases, especially for the $500 collector's edition released two years after the franchise ended. Wow, it's massive. Whether any of these scenes will be implemented into the films or released as bonus content is unknown. But until then, Potterheads will have to keep their fingers crossed. So which of the cut footage from these films would you most want to see? Do you think the footage should be released to the public, or should it stay locked away? I'd love to read your thoughts and opinions. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I hope you join me next time.